yeah. All right, we're live. From Atlanta, Georgia. From the Bear Cave in Rock Hill, South Carolina. We're gonna we're coming to you with the keto show, but it's more than just keto. We cook all kind of stuff. And and a lot of what we cook can be keto and you can easily convert it, or it's just plain old cooking. Yep, yep. We try to throw a little keto spin to it, so it's something different, but something easily uh, substituted. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can adapt these things real simple. So, I am Mike, and this is Lee. <laughs> I'll get the right direction in a minute. Everything's reversed. <laughs> yep, yep. We're, we're mixed up. Yep. So, so I, want, I want to throw out a shout out to uh, Mr. James Earl Jones. Oh. The okay. Darth Vader. Yes. You see him right back here? Yes, sir. Today is his 93rd birthday. Oh, wow. Happy birthday, James. I doubt he's watching this, but if he is, happy birthday. <laughs> yep. And he is the voice of CNN, where he goes, this is CNN. Yes. And I also have him, I have the whole box set of James Earl Jones rings, reads the King James Version of the Bible. Oh, wow. Yes. So, not going to lie, in my younger days, when I was a little wild and wonky, it wasn't, and I was really frustrated and had some issues it wasn't uncommon to sit down with a 12 pack James Earl Jones on the radio or on the, the CD and playing Call of Duty. Well, <laughs> you know what? I mean, hey, you got you got the word that no matter what. I mean, yep. so. and I got to blow some stuff up. So <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> so take that for what it's worth. But there you go. We've come a long way. <laughs> That man has made some great movies. Yes. Yeah. He's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. And for those that don't know it, he is the voice of Darth Vader. He's not. Even Bat. He's not the one in the costume, but he was the voice. Yep. He was the voice. So, well, tonight, I, I threw out a challenge last week and said, why don't we cook chili? Because. I knew it was supposed to be cold this week, and right now it's 33 degrees with a windshield of about 26, I think, here in Atlanta. That's pretty close to where we're at. It was, I think it got up to 38, but this morning it was like 18. We were 16 with a wind chill of 8 degrees. Yep. So, needless to say, I did not go on my walk today. No. <laughs> no. I don't blame you one bit. Yeah, uh, I'm turning into a fair weather exerciser. <laughs> Guess what? I wouldn't have been out there no matter what. <laughs> yeah. if, if, the freezer, if it's warmer in the freezer than it is outside. Something, yes. There yeah. you go. There you go. What happens when fat gets cold? Oh, yeah. We can gel and we move slower. Yes. <laughs> That's right. So, so we haven't consulted it with each other. We don't know what the other's recipe is going to be, but we're going to be making chili. Now, the chili we will be making, the only stipulation was it had to be a keto chili, which for all those that don't know, keto chili is basically Texas-style chili because it has no beans. And... If you, Texas is where chili was invented, if I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I'm wrong, and with that being the case, you would have, uh, to, you know, that, that would be uh, a keto-style chili. Well, yes and no. Because the for it to be Texas-style, you would have to have the dry chilies that are native to that region of Texas. That's true. So that's kind of a generic umbrella term. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like Georgia barbecue. Yeah. Just as long as it's got peach in it, it's considered Georgia barbecue. Right. Right. No, 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 no. 
There's more to it than that. Carolina style barbecue. We got into this on on Sunday, so I, I'll try not to get on my soapbox again. But yes, we are doing a beanless chili. Yep. So call it what you want. I don't call it Texas because I don't have all the Texas chilies in it. In fact, you're gonna see my chili is like two, four, five ingredients. Four. Five ingredients. And that's it. Mine's not much different than that. So, uh, Keto Simple, how you doing? How you doing, Dustin? And Bat13, good to see you, Bat. So, I, and I cheated. I cheated, Mike. I had to because that's all right. for chili to be a chili, it has to simmer as long as you can. Yes, yes. So, to for the show to be done in an hour, I had to go ahead and brown my meat. That's okay. So I, I started to do that. get some more simmer time. I started to do that, but I decided against it. I just uh, I, I said no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it because I thought I was had the same reasoning as you. Yep. Because it so, had it simmer. So I've already got my meat browned over here. What I have is I got some brats. Oh yeah. And I got some uh, ground uh, beef. It was like an 80-20 angus steakhouse angus blend i don't know we picked it up on sale okay so i brown that up the brats i'm gonna slice and dice and drop okay. keep the casing on them yeah yep yeah and then here's where where i completely go off the rails and it's non-traditional it's a jug of v8 juice Oh, V8, V8, okay. Yeah, yes, it's not letting me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a V8 juice. Okay. And the big jar of the salsa. Kind of paste big jar of chunky yeah. salsa. Okay, yeah. That's it. Nothing wrong with that. So the where this came from was years ago when the wife and I were trying to, we were barely getting by. We needed cheap meals, right, to get us through the week. Mm -hmm. Chili, I grew up in the Midwest. We put beans in it. Yes. Why do we put beans in it? Because it'll stretch. Stretch. That's exactly right. <laughs> so we could make a big uh, a crock pot of chili, like what I'm going to make now, and that would feed us three to four meals. You know, so because the kids, they wouldn't eat much. So basically it's me and the wife. That would get us about three meals, you know, if you took some for lunch or whatever, or snacks. So the only difference this time, though, is for this recipe is I'm not putting the beans in it and I'm adding the broth. There you go. So I'm adding two pounds of, of, of meat versus one and no beans. But this, this comes into roughly under 15 bucks. Yeah, mine's cheap, too. So that's why that's why we grew up. That's that's how we came up with this. And I'll tell you what, I've had people come up to me and they say, "What'd you do to that?" There you go. Tell them, it's all, that's it. Yeah. And they're like, no. And you know, usually when somebody says I got chili, you're kind of standoffish because you don't know about the heat. Exactly. exactly. People throw in the, the jalapenos, the cayenne, the chili powder. I know people that make the same recipe, but it comes out different every time. Yep. I am a, uh, I like a hotter chili, but folks what know my wife, no, they don't. She will not do spicy. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I do not do that. And, and Dustin said no noodles either. And, and that's right. No noodles. He said, even though he grew up there with, with noodles and sugar in the chili, he doesn't do it yep. anymore. Yep. Yeah. Now, yeah, we're no Cincinnati style with the spaghetti. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, I grew up uh, about an hour and 40 minutes north of Cincinnati. Yeah. And that is a – you have to have the taste for it. A lot of people don't like that. I've had it. I didn't mind it. I did not mind it. It was pretty good. I, I was going to do that tonight, but my wife is like, no. So <laughs> – 
But all right, so Mike, tell me about your chili. Well, I, much like I have been doing lately, I'm using pork sausage instead of ground beef. Okay. Uh, regular ground pork. And this is just regular pork cuts, pork sausage. This one came from Aldi and was about $2 a pack. And I got two pounds of it. Um, so I got four, uh, I got two pounds of meat for four bucks. Okay. You can't with ground beef no matter where you look. Yep, yep. And so that's why I got less money in this. And I was looking on trying to get this done on the cheap as a would, because I try to do everything on the cheap but still keep the taste level where you got flavor and the sausage it has a lot of flavor to what we're doing mm -hmm. so I, I like doing that um i have some salsa that i was considering adding i have done it that way but i'm gonna go with straight tomatoes instead uh, and spices and tomato sauce and then i'm gonna make it a creamy style and and uh and a cheesy style so i'm gonna put some cheese and some cream in it also so that it's gonna be a creamy cheesy chili what's up how you doing brian yep so we'll you know at least that's my plan creamy chili cheesy all right well let's get the fire lit man let's uh let's get to simmer Let's do it. Let's do it. So I am using a 12 inch camp oven. It's got the legs on it, but I have an outdoor burner that I'm able to, that it's able to sit down on just fine. I am using my kitchen stove. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. And, um, uh, I'm debating whether to make a chopper with it to go along with it to dunk it in, to dunk in it in a little crackers. We'll just see if I feel like making one. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some tomato juice. It's a it's a store brand uh, V8 juice is what it is. But what I like to do is put some in. Because I already browned the meat, I want to stir and get those get those bits off the bottom. Now they'll come off while I'm while I'm cooking. Oh, get my rag here. And then I'm gonna take my salsa. I wanna dump that whole jar in. Oh yeah. Now, why That's salsa? Why why use salsa? Somebody's gonna ask, and, and here's why. Saves time. It's already got the onion, the pepper, the the maters. It's already chopped and done and ready for you. Yeah. And that was the dump and go the wife and I were looking for back in the day when we first came up with this. For like a four dollar jar of salsa. You're done, and you don't have to uh, do anything. That is an excellent point. And then I pour tomato juice in it, swoosh it around, and get all that out of there. That's Yeah, there you go. And then the rest of it will go in. And I like the V8 juice over straight-up tomato juice. Yeah. For the simple fact, now it has the vitamins and the nutrients and all that, yada yada, in the uh, in it. Right. So you kind of it's kind of a healthy chili. Right. Yep. Okay. Nothing have, to that. I've got my pound of ground beef. Uh huh. And it's going in. Now, this is where I would add in two cans of, of light kidney beans and mm -hmm. two cans of dark kidney beans. I like both. I like to use a, a mixture of both when I would do it with beans in it. 
Yep, strained and rinsed. That is the key. Yep. If you do not rinse those beans, they come out mushy, yep. and you can tell the difference between the two. And I want to say hello to our treasured home. Oh, and Pickles is here. And Charlie, how you doing, my friend? V8 spicy is good. You know, I looked at a, I looked at a, the spicy, and I, I decided against it. Just because of my wife, that was all. Because even though she's kind of like, you're not putting beans in it, I don't want it. I still want to give her that option. Yeah. That's a good point about rinsing the beans. That's important. Yeah. And I know beans technically are not keto. So that that was the other other factor in not doing beans. I understand this. Yep. Now you could get the black soybeans, and while it's not keto, it is low carb. Yeah. But those things, if you priced them, they're expensive. So I just opted to use. It'll give you an effect like that using it. It'll give you that same effect. That's a good idea. And the brats add extra seasoning flavor. And the one thing that I do not do, I don't add any seasoning to it. Oh, really? It's the P8. And the salsa are already seasoned. Okay. You have seasoning already in your brats or your sausage. There you go. You got a point. So it is, when I say it's it's a dump and go, that is seriously it. The, the only hard part is browning your meat and um, rinsing the beans. I do add seasoning to mine because it's going to need extra because uh, I'm not putting in the pre-seasoned stuff. And it's, I got minced garlic here. This one came from, uh, I believe that came from Dollar Tree. And it's just minced garlic that's in uh, water, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, water. Nice, nice. Yeah, it was nice price too. So uh, you, I got to get some out of the freezer. Quick question for you, Mike. Hang on just a second, please. Okay. Well, anybody in the chat uh, doing good, doing a rotisserie bird. Nice, Charlie. It was a little too chilly for me today to fire anything up. I thought about it, but um, I did shoot a video today on a standalone video on the Wendy's chili comparison. For anybody who's curious, it was on what? A video on what now? Oh, I was I was kind of just talking out loud. Um, so, Mike, I got a question for you. Okay. Being you're, you're a little stricter keto than I am, when it comes down to a canned chili, uh -huh. what do you do? I have a couple of them that I prefer. Okay. Uh, that, uh, there's one called Patterson's that I like. And Ollie's has a brand has one that's a, a low carb now. Most of them, if you look, it's uh they'll say like six or seven carbs or something like that for uh not very two tablespoons, I think it is. Well, with those, I can get a quarter of the can for two carbs. Oh, okay. And this is just peppers and onions. It's frozen peppers and onions. 
and it's been in the freezer and it's got a little bit of frost on it, but it won't hurt it, man. A little bit of water instead of broth would work out fine in this, so. And that came from Dollar Tree also. Okay, okay. Well, I was pleasantly surprised that how healthy a Wendy's chili is. They're, they're large, which is like a, um, a 15 ounce can. Uh huh. It's like, oh, what was it, 340 calories? And only like 23 net carbs. And, and most of those come from the beans. Yeah. Almost all of them. I mean, it's probably got a little bit of flour for thickening, but. Yeah. Corn starch, maybe. But it was it was pleasantly surprising to see the, the nutrition facts on this on the restaurant version. I did not know that that was the nutritional facts on it. That's good to know. Yep. And a small is like 16 net carbs and 248 or 240. I got it wrote down. The 240 calories in the small. That's not bad. 16 net carbs. That's pretty good. So, yeah. So it's, you know, that's that's some healthy stuff for you. Okay, what I put in was a little bit of paprika and a little chili powder. And I'll figure out if I got enough. Because I don't, if you've been around me, the only time I measure is when I'm baking. Stephen and Jacqueline, what's up, brother? What's up? Uh, I wish I was down there with you right now, Stephen. It is too cold. Mike, are you going to KPL 24? Oh, Keto Palooza in Louisville. When is it? October 11th through the 13th. Uh, 2024? Yeah. I would, yeah. I'm hoping to. I would love to. In Louisville. Okay. Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. Louisville, Louisville. Okay. okay, Lee. Okay. I know. I grew up. I grew up right, right north of there, in Louisville or Louisville. How do you pronounce the capital of Kentucky? It's Louisville. No, it's Frankfurt. Frankfurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have any family in Kentucky, so, eh, just kidding. It's an Ohio thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, trick to doing ground meat is to use a spoon of water, a tablespoon of baking soda per pound. Okay. Mix it up for 30 minutes. Oh, it helps it brown. Okay, okay. I was wondering where you were going with that there, Charlie. Oh, I like that idea. A tablespoon of baking soda per pound? Oh, half a teaspoon of baking soda per pound. It's it's a tablespoon oh. of water and half a teaspoon of baking soda per pound, and it helps it brown. That's cool. I got to remember that. Wow. Um, two yeah. hours north of Louis, Louisville, Louisville. Nice. In Indianapolis. Okay, okay. Well, I grew up just north of Dayton, Ohio. You know where Dayton is? You know where Lima is? I'm smack dab in the middle in a cornfield is where I grew up. Uh, that's where, oh, Keto Palooza 23 was awesome. Sweet. Uh, you think... Isn't that where Cindy went? Cindy and her sister? I think they did. Because she was talking about the um, um, oh, 
the the the, the, the crazy ketos. Um, Two crazy ketos, yeah. Yeah, down in Florida. They, they called her out because her and her sister were together and whatever. That's a pretty cool story. Rachel and uh, I can't remember his name. Joe. Joe, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, can I get this open? Let's just see if it'll work with this. Let's see what else we got. Joe and Rachel. Yep, yep. Uh, you were in Cincinnati last weekend. Sweet, dude. Right. Trying to keep up here with the comments. Got a new new camera set up and angles and whatnot, so. Hopefully it's uh, looking good. It's per working pretty good on my end. I think we're doing all right. Um, oh, let's see. So if you were to make a chili, well, so I figured, Mike, I, I honestly was going to do a a white chicken chili, and I said to myself, I said, self, I'd like to do a white chicken chili. So you proved me wrong, my friend. Well, I uh, I, do, I do like a white chicken chili myself, and you, you, it's amazing. We were on the same wavelength on this because I thought about it also. Yeah, I, I was like, I want to do that. You know, because you can get a rotisserie chicken instead of smoking one. Right. And, you know, you pull it and you throw it in there and you'd be all good, right? Yep. And then the wife kind of gave me that. I don't think so. I said, okay, okay. So, you know, I want to wake up in the morning, so I, I, I abide and I listen to her and, and you know, and, uh, I was going to do this one. It, it's a it's a vegan recipe, but I was going to change the beans out for something else. I hadn't got that far yet. But she really gave me the stink eye for that one. It was pumpkin chili. Huh. Because pumpkin is keto, as long as it's not, if, as long as it's pureed and not the pie filling. Yeah. So I thought about that, and then they had, they had to add, add in like, white beans or black beans. And I was like, I could change that out and add some ground beef instead of black beans. And that would be a uh, keto and then add some chicken, but a pumpkin chicken chili. I don't know. The more I started thinking about it, the more I was like, yeah, pumpkin sausage soup. I was kind of thinking that with the brats, the, like the brats kind of, chopped up kind of in the way that I did it. I don't know if it showed up here on the camera, but I cut them long ways and then half them again. Okay. Long ways. Yeah. There you, you go. Up, you get the little bits. It'll, it'll mimic a bean. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. I like that idea. So like, here's, here's a piece. So anyway, so I, I was thinking something along that lines. Uh, uh, Twinbrook Acres, hello, hello. Greetings all stopping by for a few minutes. Grandkids will be here soon. Hey, give them big good grandkids a big hug for us. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, pop up. Well, it wouldn't be me cooking if I didn't make a mess. And I that's that's just part of cooking, right? I keep telling the wife that she keeps saying you make a mess. We're planning a keto meet up uh, on the 18th. Oh, okay. What's in Indianapolis? That'd be cool. There you go. I see you put meat as in like meat, meat like beef, not like meeting. That's funny. I, like I see. It. I see what you did there. 
Now, I don't put broth in mine usually. A broth? Right. I don't usually use a broth in it. Okay. I don't... Uh, this is as simple a chili as I've, as, as I've ever made. I, I picked this up. I don't know. The kids were itty-bitty. And when they think of chili, this is what they think of. And they can tell, like, my wife used to make it, and she would not rinse the beans. Oh, yeah, you can tell the difference. Yes, and the kids actually refused to eat it. Wow. So when they say, when we're like, hey, we're having chili, they're like, who made it? <laughs> That's funny. My kids growing up did not like chili. Now both of them do. So another question for you, Mr. Mike. Okay. Growing up in the South, and, and I, I'm, I didn't grow up in the South, but now that I'm in the South, what is the number one condiment you put with, or not condiment, um, what do you serve with your chili? Well, growing up, what we served was uh, we did uh, cornbread. Absolutely. Now that you're keto, what do you do? Uh, I have done a tortilla, used a tortilla, toasted it uh, in a toaster, and broke it apart or, or uh, and made it kind of like a cracker, but it was more like a, you know, one of the zero net carbs uh, tortillas, a little street tortillas, a little street tacos. Yep, yep. So it's kind of like the tortilla chips you put on tortilla soup. Right, right. And okay. I've done that. And that, that works real well. And I've actually thought about doing that with this as just as a topping. So I love cornbread with mine. But for today. Oh, pork rinds. Yeah, there you go. Pork rinds. Good one. Now, these are awesome. You buy this for $10 at Sam's Club. You can use about a third of it and it will fill up a, a small coffee can for crumbs. And I put that in the, in the pantry and they stay fresh because the coffee can somehow creates a good seal and it's good. Well, what I do is I bought a, a jar, a, a glass, a plastic container like you have there. Yep. And it would cost a little more than the regular just bag of tortilla or uh, pork rinds. And I then will take pork rinds and refill it with the bag pork rinds. So, Stephen, we're having chili without beans. Without, yeah. Just because we're trying to keep it keto. Mm -hmm. So, we're not calling it Texas. Nope. Because I, I've, gotten, I've gotten on a real, like, kind of pet peeve about calling things something because it has a certain ingredient. Yeah, or lacks a certain like, ingredient. <laughs> lacks a certain. Yeah, I won't get on the tangent again, but I'd gotten on one Sunday and kind of over this. Um, you want to you wanna know some interesting stuff. Look up the difference between coney sauce, like for uh -huh. hot Right? Right. And hot dog chili. Okay. There is a, I would have never thought there's a difference, but there is a difference in the reasons that they came from. Both are from German immigrants yeah. coming over, like 1930s coming over. The coney sauce is like thinner and sweeter. Hot dog chili is thicker and like regular chili. Okay. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because you can buy hot dog sauce in the store in a can, and 
you got to look real hard to find some meat in it. Yes, because it's chopped up so fine. Exactly. Yep. Yep. And but let me get this can that I use. I'll show you what I use. It's a, it's a good one. This is what I do when I don't have time to really make a chili. Yeah, my kids, they love um, coney sauce or hot dog sauce. And Bear Cub will actually put it on her nuggets. We got um, a, a thing of dino nuggets. And she has destroyed this can of um, Skyline chili. Oh, wow. And she's dipping her nuggets in it. There you go. Kind of like a chili cheese nuggets. So this is uh, Patterson's chili, hot dog chili. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, And it's, uh, I get it at Ingles. Uh, you can find it in other places too, but Ingles is the place that I can get it. And it's a, there's uh, four servings in it, half the uh, quarter of the can, and that's plenty for two hot dogs, uh, is one serving and uh, or, and because I say a can, quarter of the can, because a can it says a quarter of a cup. This is eight ounces, so it's a quarter of the can. Right, right. So it's um, sixty calories. Total of three three total carbs, one fiber, so two net carbs for a quarter of the cup, a quarter of the can. And I can get enough chili to do two hot dogs with it without any trouble. So I, I do that. And this, it's really good. It has no MSG in it. Now, if you look at the ingredients, they, you know, they, they, it's a little rough, but, you know, beef, water, tomato paste. It does have textured vegetable protein in it, but beef, water, and tomato paste are the first three ingredients. So I'm, I'm happy with that. But, you know, the, for those that don't know it, as you're going down an ingredient list, the further down you go, the less of it that there is. And they they start with the most popular stuff or the, the most highest quantity of stuff. And beef is the number one thing and water is second and tomato paste is third. So you know that the bulk of this is made up of that. And that Hi, Cindy. We were just talking about you. Hey, Cindy. Uh, Dustin was asking about uh, Keto Palooza. Yeah, 2024. If anybody was gone, and I, I thought that's where you would went and met up with Joe and Rachel and your sister and like that whole story. I think now this is going to be a stretch, right, Mike? Uh huh. So th this is not keto. So. You know, hopefully the admin doesn't come in here and ban me for this. <laughs> but in April, I think it's April, the Lodge uh, Cast Iron is putting on their National Cornbread Festival Oh, up there in, in Tennessee. I'm trying to talk my wife into going. And she's like, when I talked to her last year about it, yeah, no, 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 no. Now she's kind of like, well, maybe. <laughs> what? Yeah. So hopefully the admins don't jump on here and kick me off of, of the show. But uh, I don't yeah. think they will. That, uh, that would be really awesome, being a cast iron guy. Um I know my man, uh, Cast Iron uh, Mike. Mike, yeah. Cast Iron went and shot a video. They got to tour the the lodge facility, and they did like a strip, a walk down the uh, the cornbread row where they had booths set up and people's cooking, mm -hmm. and then they have um, they have a competition, so you get judged on the cornbread. Right. So that was kind of kind of neat to see, and I was like, "Ooh, man, I'd like to go to that." 
Uh, I'm at the simmering stage. I know you are too. Oh yeah, I've got my heat heat jacked up. Just to try to get this to uh, more of a chili consistency in a shorter amount of time. Oh, there you go. And I don't know if you noticed, Mr. Mike. We are using a black iron pot and we got tomatoes in it. Oh yeah, because that there is a faction of folks that say you cannot cook tomatoes in cast iron. So I didn't know if you'd noticed that, but uh, I, you know what? I hadn't noticed it. I apologize. I should have. Yep, yep. So I mentioned at the beginning that I was using this Dutch oven. It's a camp stove uh, or camp oven. It's got the legs on the bottom. Um, but if your cast iron is well seasoned, meaning you cook in it, you take care of it, you can cook tomato stuff in it. It's fine. The issue becomes, because it is so acidic, that if you let this simmer for 12, 15 hours, and then you don't, once you're done eating it, you don't clean it. You let it sit another day. And that is where the acidity will start to wear down your, your seasoning. If your seasoning is not like a real good one, like say it's a, you, you, you've only got two rounds, say you strip a piece and you only got two rounds on it and then you use it. You'll see some of that coming off. Yeah. Right. But yep. just doing, doing like this, the worst you're going to see is a, what I call the wear line. Yeah. And that happens with any kind of soup. Anytime you're cooking in it, you're going to have a wear line where it's faded where your meat was or your your soup was. And that's just natural. It's still seasoned, but it's it's kind of, I don't want to say stripped, but it's it, it just needs to be washed and then re-seasoned. And you're good to go. There you go. <clears throat> that's right. So, so Stephen, I got a baby this year. And I texted her friend because her friend was like, well, yeah, we can, we can go to Tennessee for the weekend. So her friend's on board, might be on board. So, you know, it's a win-win. Rowan, let me see if I can find my creamy mist that I was going to put in this. Okay. Your own jackfruit thing sometime. Apparently you need to have unripe jackfruit. Charlie, I don't know, man. I I got um, I did have a, another vegan ish cousin text me and say, well, her husband is text me and said, hey, don't get that stuff again. I, I don't. That stuff was just not good. But to get regular canned, like unprocessed, uh, whatever, unprocessed, unseasoned jackfruit and try that um i i mean if you are like dead serious about trying it it's kind of like tofu if you just want to try it for giggles but if i had to eat it like on a daily basis i would try to figure out how to make it right um that's about all i got to say about that one yeah that was not uh uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. It was a fun video to make, and surprisingly, Cub liked the the barbecued one. Who would have thunked it? I don't know. Hmm. I've had jackfruit not, as barbecue. I didn't much like it at all. Now the the texture. It was. It looked like. Barbecue. It looked like pork. Pork. The, the taste was, you know, that 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 cheap barbecue you buy in, in the grocery store by the by the hot dogs. Uh huh. It comes in a tub. Yeah, the Lloyd's. Yeah, it was like that, but tangier. Oh, okay. 
Lloyd's, I mean, you know, for a bar, if you're looking to just get a barbecue fix, it ain't too bad. But it, you know, if you just you got to have something with barbecue for something. Like I have used it when I'm cooking and I want to put something in there, this barbecue type thing. I will put Lloyd's in there. So, yeah. so Mike, I've been in the South a little too long there, my friend. Yeah, you don't like that. Now it's rare. It's rare, but, but I have. When I was in Ohio, before I learned to barbecue, before I knew what real barbecue was, I would get it. No problem. Now that I've had real barbecue, if we're doing a Brunswick stew, I will start two weeks ahead of time. Yeah. Knowing I'm going to make a stew just to put pork in the fridge. Well, see, when I do a Brunswick stew, I do pork and chicken in it. Yep. Yep. I'm with you on that one. I smoke up, uh, I smoke pork butts and I smoke up the chicken. Sometimes I'll do a mix of thighs and breasts just for ease. Right. Versus the whole bird where you got to try to, you know, then you have all the, I mean, I got a couple bird carcasses in the freezer that I got to make into stock. I have been known to do rotisserie chicken in it because it's, it's been slow cooked and it falls right off the bone and it's great in it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, I've had jackfruit and Filipino desserts. Okay. I wasn't a fan of this jackfruit um, that I got in the bag. You know, that as a dessert, that might, usually the dessert might make it better. Um, if, it's not, if it's not the pre-season. True. What I got was pre-season in a bag. The, the taco one looked like pulled beef. Yeah. Didn't taste like pulled beef. <laughs> That's funny. And, and I'm sure if I would have made a taco with it, it would have been different. <laughs> but just yeah. eating it straight out of the pan because we, you know, that was the taste test. Then, yeah. I'm for thinking it up pretty decently here. For my creaminess, I'm just using a little bit of sour cream. Oh. Okay. Now there was a spot we used to go, like my mom was real picky on chili, right? Yeah. She would go to Wendy's and that was it. There was one sports bar that she would always get chili at. But those are the only two places. Like if it was, I want chili today, we're either going to the sports bar or fast food is, chili, is Wendy's. So, um, the, the one place, if you asked them to, they would top it with sour cream. Oh, yeah. See, I love it, topping it with them. That's why I'm thinking putting it in, it's going to be good, too. Yeah. So what um, what kind of toppings do you put on chili? Well, if I, did, I, like, I like to put raw onions on it, uh, cheese. Uh, with this, because I'm doing... Uh, Cheese are and I'm gonna put cheese in it, and I'm gonna put cream in it. I'm gonna I, I do sour cream on top, cheese, onions. That's generally all I'll do on top if I'm doing something on top as a topping. But so I'm not gonna do any toppings, but maybe some of the tortillas that I make into a chip for it this time, and just do that. I'm going to get this cheese in here, and then I'm going to get the wife in here and let her taste this for y'all's. Uh, Brian, I don't, I don't know what channel to go to to get on, so you were on all three for a second, then the internet crashed. Uh -oh. <laughs> Well, what you can do is start one, and then when you go to bed tonight, start the other, and then when you wake up in the morning and you're getting ready, start the third. 
Are you are you in your camper? Are you, Brian, are you in the camper? Uh, Fritos, chopped fresh tomatoes, green onions, and shredded cheese with sour cream. Dude, I love Fritos in my chili. Yes. I absolutely do. Um, but the only kind of Fritos that I like are the chili cheese ones. And I don't get them but once in a great while because one bag is a serving size for this fella. Oh, yeah. So I don't, I don't get them very often. Once in a great while. Um, water frozen and thermostat gave up on me. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, my Lord. Man, I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm surprised we didn't have a whole, whole mess of stuff around here. Now, I wish y'all would look at that. That's the creamy. Look how creamy that is and cheesy. And oh, yeah. Let me bring you up here. Uh, oops, wrong one. Hold on. <laughs> it's all right. Whoa, there is that it? Nope, that just showed better up on mine. Let's see. Hold on, I can do it. There we go. I got oh, you. There you go. I got you. Take me a second. Look at that. That's that's with just a little bit of sour cream and a little bit of cheese in it. It got really creamy and cheesy. Yeah. You don't have to put a lot. And what I what I like about that is you if you were to use like a heavy whipping cream, it would uh, add a sweetness to it. Yes. So the sour cream doesn't add any sweetness to it. Exactly. But it's a good thickener. Exactly. And that's what I was going for. I didn't want to add sweetness. I just wanted to let it thicken it a little bit and make it a you know, the creamy stuff, they give it the creamy type look. And that's exactly what I ended up with because I put, well, let's see if you can see. This is the container. And you can see I put about a, about a quarter of it, about a quarter of it. And this is a, this is a 16 ounce container. So, you know, a quarter of it. Cast What's iron. Up, all right, how you doing, honey badger? My buddy James, how you doing? Right. Rolling the lodge, uh, rolling the lodge cast iron over here. You know, doing tomatoes, tomato stuff, and a cast iron. What? I'm yeah, gonna well, get. If I was on TikTok, I'd probably get slammed. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I like to do with this is. I take it off of the heat when I'm going to add like cream in there so the cream doesn't curdle. Something creamy, I don't want it curdling. Right, right. So, I mean, people have told me, oh, it won't curdle, it'll be fine. I ain't taking that chance. So you, you take it off the heat and then let the residual heat melt it down? Exactly. It in. Exactly. That's a great tip, great tip. You know, because it, 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 if you if you still got continuous heat, it, it's going to curdle on you. But this right here, you can look. It doesn't have any curdle to it whatsoever. Yep. Let me let me bring you up here. There's no curdle to it whatsoever. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. There it is. You can see there's no curdle to it whatsoever. Yeah, that's nice. Let me get the missus. She's going to love this. Well, let me okay. So it can start cooling a little bit. Yeah. So I know I'm, I'm I'm committing a cardinal cast iron sin by cooking chili in a cast iron, but hey, that's all right. I do it all the time, so it's not a. It doesn't bother me none. I'm not adding more sour cream to it. I'm just cleaning the spoon off from where it was in the sour cream instead of wasting it. Our treasured home, have a great night. Good to see you, Nancy. Looks good. Man, I ain't even like showing mine yet. It's just simmering away. It's thickening up, though.
I tell you what, using that the brats in there, that's a that's an excellent idea. Yeah, um, a lot of times, you know, I go with what's on sale, right? Yeah. I'm uh, so if I find brats or Italian sausages or um, whatever, whatever I find on sale, that's what I would use on my chili. Yeah. So you know, I had. I don't know. I think this jar was like four and a half, five dollars a salsa. Mm -hmm. This tub was a couple bucks, maybe three. I don't remember. I had about three dollars in the uh, ground beef on sale, and another three or four dollars in the brats on sale. Yep. And then cheese is like two bucks for the bag, two and a half. Yep. Yep. For my topping, I got a chopped up onion for my topping. There you go. And then pork grinds, because why not? Absolutely. So Let me get I'll be more. Top it off. Hey. Hey. Can you come right there? Well, the dogs have snuck in here. Uh-oh. I opened the door, and sure enough, they come running in. Guys, how are you doing? Something smells Look good today. Is that Miss Paige? It is. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? All right. Good. So tell me what delicious thing I'm tasting here. That is chili. chili. Creamy chili. Creamy cheesy chili. Say that three times fast. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I barely got it out once. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is uh, excellent. Excellent. I love it when she's happy. Mm. Would you guess that came out of a can? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I would not. That's funny. That's funny. But you did make me stop and think for a second. <laughs> she, well, started looking, she starts well, looking around like, I don't see no can. You know, what you tell me? <laughs> I mean, technically, there are canned stuff in Well, it's involved. You know, yeah. Sauce. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and diced tomatoes. <laughs> okay. So it, part of it came out of a can. Yeah. Oh, this is okay. So I got a question since Miss Page is here. Okay. Which serving vessel should I use? The Greg Crock or the Brown Crock? Hey, okay, now I can see you. The, oh, the brown or the... Hmm. I kind of like the brown. The brown one, the little soup crock? Yeah, but is it handle. too small? Oh. Well, why don't you call it? What's that? Why don't you call it? This is just going to be for, for my thumbnail and presentation. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Yep. Charlie Charlie says it's uh he likes the brown one, too. I, I agree. Okay. Yep, it is page approved, Beth. I love nice. it. Page approved. <laughs> so let me slide this over without tipping it over. And well, her her name is Paige, Charlie. Who said? Somebody said, "Is your name Hey?" <laughs> so let me get out the dude. It's the dude approved. It's the dude approved uh, platter there you go so it's gonna go right there and then my soup crock will go on it y'all really can't see that can you there you go there you go and that way when i ladle it and i do my thumbnail it'll have that there because the dude approves 
He's making chili, but his is just that made differently. Oh. Now look, at, look that, at that. Look at that nice big thing he has. Scoop. <laughs> I got a ladle. A ladle. Oh, that's what. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. The plastic ladle. <laughs> yeah. He's fancy. He's uh, fancy. Applebee's. I got this one like in a thrift store. <laughs> there you go. And he can Best use that place. metal because he's using cast iron. I don't have that. Uh, I'm, I'm yes. not. That is the second cardinal sin I'm doing on cast iron. <laughs> now I'm going to add a little bit of little bit of cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Honey Badger says, put the chili on spaghetti and tell Rusty his skyline. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm on it, dude. And then I'm going to add a little bit of chopped onion. I'm going to have to do like a coney sauce thing for Rusty just because he's like, I've never heard of that. Mm. Oh, yeah. I've met it. Coney sauce? It's it's more of a chili sauce than a, than a chili. There you go. Look at that. That mm. looks good. There you go. I'm going to put it on my thumbnail. The dude approved uh, platter. Platter. <laughs> dude approved. Do the approve. The producer approves. Oops. It just barely fits on my stove here. Let me get a get a picture. Oop, not of me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use that thumbnail. Mm. Great. I am glad you like it. It's massive. All right. And then we'll get a get a picture. Oh, and you know, since it is Darth Vader's birthday, well, James Earl Jones's birthday. Yeah. I am using his the Darth Vader spatula. There you go. Cool. So I'm gonna do this. You said he's what 93? Yep. That's what I was gonna ask. 93. Wow. I did not know it was his birthday. Until you told me, I did not know it was his birthday. Yep. Nick, we're both big fans of his. Oh, yeah. Love that voice. Oh, yeah. He's got the voice to end all voices. There we go. You know how hard it is to photography soup? <laughs> I know that's not a it's not the right word, but, you know, to make soup look sexy. Oh, yeah. It's not easy. Nice. All right. So, Miss Page. So much you can do to it because it's going in a bowl. Here, Miss Page, take a taste and tell me what you think. Mm, mm, that's delicious. <laughs> delicious. There we go. It's not as good as Mike's, but it's it's good. <laughs> that's Mike's good. That's my good. opinion. <laughs> <laughs> His, his, yeah, his came out of a jug. Yeah, I got a, I got a jar. I got a jar. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We both used uh, shortcuts instead of oh, yeah? cooking the tomatoes ourselves and all. Four ingredients. Wow. Well, let's see. I got sour cream, cheese, sausage, tomato sauce, tomato tomatoes not counting the spices and all that's five ingredients oh see i didn't add spices true you didn't because you used the uh, because what you used has already got it in it if i was using those i wouldn't have added it either yeah man because so, you are overwhelming and you will not get any taste out of it so there there miss page the key ingredient and you can't see it because of the glare Dang it. four grand v8 Oh, <laughs> okay. There you go. From Food Lion. So it's got, what's up, Daddy Dutch? Daddy Dutch. It's got all your vitamins, your minerals, all that good stuff. 
in there making it a healthy chili. Yeah. Yes, Dutch. This is the boss. <laughs> what she says goes. No. Although I gotta tell y'all, people, I gotta tell you. Uh -oh. In my house, I get the last word on everything. Everything. It's usually yes, dear, but <laughs> <laughs> not true. Not true. But it's still the last word. Here, should I can I choke you with this right here? No. Choke me with my chili. Mm. Oh, he likes it. He likes it. Man. <laughs> it's good stuff, That's isn't it? it? There you go, Lee. You get that, that richness from the, the ground beef, the crunch from the, the onion. Uh huh. And then the, the it's a little kind of like tomato sweet mm. because of the salsa and the and the V8 juice. But mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. and the broth. Because I cooked it the broth in the cast iron pan and got a nice little char on it. Mm. It just adds a deep a deeper flavor. Oh, yeah. So, well, so all, we, we have all our dogs surrounding us here. Yes, Want, waiting for us to drop something. Any speck of anything, and they're on it. Yeah. So there you have it. Chili two ways, and it's both of them would be considered homemade. Uh, we and. We did both of them in less than an hour. Yep, yep. Now, the one thing I want to show is, you know how runny I started out, right? Yeah. Oh, it thickened up nicely. It thickened up a lot. I mean, it's not as thick as I would like it, but it thickened up a lot. Yeah, it really did. It's good. It's impressive how much it thickened up. Yep, and that was running on a on a higher like a medium high heat right right oh take a look at that that is oh yeah oh yeah um, the sausage the onions the uh, little cheese pool that's good right there yep good stuff that's the best chili i've had all day and i've had three different chilies today <laughs> <laughs> is he serious? Yeah. Three different chilies today. This wow. is the third one. <laughs> so I did a last weekend. We did a, um, a comparison taste test between um, Wendy's canned chili versus the restaurant. Uh huh. And because I've seen videos where they say they're the exact same. So we did a taste test last weekend. I had my thoughts there. And then today I did a standalone video, just a, a comparison, just me. So yeah, this is my third chili today. Oh, wow. Are you tired of chili now? Nope. I got a whole pot. I ain't tired of it yet. <laughs> yep. Now I might get some, uh, I got those, um, mm. excuse me. I got that um, Palmini angel hair mm. uh, pasta pasta that will uh, all rinse really good, heat up, and put this on top. So it's like a faux keto skyline. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. But... Mm -hmm. Boys are waiting for us to drop some. They so, Miss Page, what is your favorite way to top chili? Mm. Um, I like a little sour cream. That's the way I. That's what I like to top it with. Just sour cream. Yeah. What else? What did you put? What else cheese. would you put? On? Oh, cheese. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Please, sour cream. She's else? she's not a big fan of raw onions, so yeah, not onions. I get that. I get that. Okay. 
But a cooked onion, she's okay with it as long as it's not like only onions, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like if right. I you grill some onions and all, she's good with that. Mm. You know that'd be that'd be some good like good smoked caramelized onions. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Well, that would be good. Oh, Daddy Dutch throws in sour cream cheese, raw onions, and jalapeno. No, oh, yeah. nothing wrong with that. No every, jalapeno. Every, every now and again, I like a couple slices of jalapeno on there. Uh, I'm a wimp. I can't handle that spicy stuff like that. Jalapenos and. No. Nope. I can't even you, you you even whisper jalapeno over it and then she gonna break out in the sweat. I, I see her eyes starting to water a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lee, it's time to go eat supper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm good, man. This was fun. Yes, it was. All right, folks. Appreciate you joining us. Uh, Lee, you got any parting words? Thank you all for joining us. Um, I hope hope this helps you uh, find a quick, easy meal. Uh, cheap, fairly inexpensive to make, and uh, you know, just get out there and try it. You never know what it's going to be like. Yep. First time I've done this without beans. Well, this the style, my home style, but uh, turned out pretty good. I get to go see what the wife thinks of it and clean up my Dutch oven. There you go. You can cook chili, tomatoes in cast iron. You just can't do it. For, it ain't an all day thing you can do. Just don't put it on. Uh, just don't put it on TikTok that you did that. Oh, and mm. and don't put on there that you washed it with soap. Yeah. No. Yeah. They'll be all over you like a bad habit. <laughs> I'm just playing. Yeah. All right, y'all have a great night. And uh, thank y'all. Just be awesome. Just be awesome. Till next week, this is Mike and Lee saying, let's be careful out there. Have a great week, everybody. He says it too. <laughs> and we are.